so there was a state of play showing off more footage of Demon Souls and explaining some of the things they did with this game for next gen, including the performance mode uh, and the uh, top tier visual mode. Uh, and the differences there also talking about how this game compares to the original release and how they actually reused a lot of the original code base for the combat uh, because they wanted to keep the feel of the original game uh, so they claim but here's the thing I've never played Demon Souls okay I've never played any of the Demon Souls games I've never played Bloodborne never played any game like this because I have been outside of the PlayStation ecosystem pretty much most of my life there, there's a couple games i've dabbled in here and there but i i really have not partaken in sony side of things so i'm doubly excited for playstation 5 just because i get to go back and experience these things and for all of the things we might talk about uh in playstation 5 and xbox series x and comparisons and you know policy issues you know with the terms of service in china and like all this crazy stuff because it feels like i've talked fairly negatively about the playstation 5 heading into launch the thing that matters the most are the games. And when you see this Demon Souls gameplay that you're seeing right now, it quickly reminds you that what does matter most is the games. It's not the load times. It's not the uh, storage issues. It's not, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to say is an issue out there. It's not even how cool the DualSense controller is, which I, I talked about last week. This is actually about games and demon souls is the most noteworthy game to talk about between xbox series x and playstation 5 because it is the only game at launch as far as i'm aware from the triple a side of things that is actually exclusive to next gen so what that means is demon souls actually takes advantage of a lot of the things playstation 5 offers now i'm not saying that this is the best a game could ever look on playstation 5 Far be it from that to be the case. That's never the case at the beginning of a generation. You always get the best looking games towards the end of the generation. But still, this is a great showcase for what's possible on PlayStation 5. And while you might not be in this art direction or into this gameplay style, I don't think anybody can watch what you're seeing right now and say this does not look impressive. This is stuff not possible on current generation consoles now i'm not gonna say not possible on pc pc is always ahead of home consoles and will be ahead of home consoles by the time these land next week but i'm just pointing out that you know uh this is great this is this is what people want out of next gen this kind of stuff makes the assassin's creed valhalla stuff not look that great in comparison now i'm not trying to knock ubisoft or that game or the recent xbox series x showcase footage for that game because again i'm probably gonna end up picking it up because it's one of the few games uh, at launch of xbox series x that has next gen updates ready to go day one uh there are some other games nba madden but i don't know if you guys are going to appreciate the visuals as much in those games as you would in say uh assassin's creed valhalla but demon souls is the game that kind of proves that next gen needs to come it is the game that shows what we just can't get now from the particle effects and the way the lighting works and the detail in the world and the interactivity of the world and the amount of stuff in the world and how crisp it all looks. Keep in mind, this game can run in a performance mode at 4K 60 FPS. Now, it's an upsampled 4K. I'm not sure. They didn't say what it's upsampled from, if it's 1080p or 1440p, but it's upsampled 4K, so it's not real 4K. Uh, and then at a smooth, silky smooth 60 FPS, which apparently Demon's Souls has never ran at before, so that's a first. Uh, they had to do some reworking a little bit to make the gameplay still feel the same from the old versions to the new version to make 60 FPS work. But, hey, they put in the work and made it happen. And then they also have, you know, the... the, the the visual mode uh where it's a native 4k so no no secret sauce here native 4k but only 30 fps uh and that's gonna be for people that care more about the visual experience than necessarily the gameplay experience you might be like why don't they care about the gameplay experience well the game was originally played at 30 fps so some people might not mind a 30 fps especially if it's locked and doesn't fall below it uh, so if you, have, if you have a locked 30 FPS uh, along with native 4K, that's going to be very desirable for a lot of people that are fans of the original game. Heck, it might even be desirable for people that want to take full advantage of true 4K with their next-gen system. And one thing I do want to note here, when you hear about, oh, performance mode with upsampled 4K 60 and then, you know, uh, a different mode for native 4K 30, I think this is going to be pretty standard in most games when they start to come exclusively to the next gen where you're going to have an upsampled or checkerboard rendered 4k at 60 fps uh and then you're going to have a 
you know, native uh, 4K option if you're willing to cut the FPS in half. I think this is going to be pretty standard across Xbox Series X and uh, PlayStation 5. I noted a while ago, and as powerful as these next-gen systems are and how you can't build a comparable gaming PC at the same price, I did note that even still, even with 12 you know, teraflops of performance and 10 teraflops, 10.4 or whatever PlayStation 4 has, it's technically not enough for native 4K and really high frame rates. It's just it's just not. We've seen it on PC. It's not good enough. So it is what it is. The, the, this hardware is obviously more specially tailored uh, for gaming and, and how they've designed the, the back-end archi architect and systems. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's going to be great. And, and Demon Souls, I mean, this... I've never played a Demon Souls game. I've never had a desire to play a Demon Souls game. Watching this footage throughout the video is making me want to play Demon Souls. Now, whenever I do get a PlayStation 5, which right now uh, I'm a little, because of all the, the miffed stuff with YouTube and, and the revenue issues, uh, I will not be getting a PlayStation 5 at launch. I will be getting an Xbox Series X because I already had that prepaid off. Uh, there is a lot to consider. But the most important thing uh, to, to consider here when I get a PlayStation 5 is getting games that, that actually show me what next gen's all about, along with the games I actually want to play. Like, obviously, we, we've had we've seen some reviews of, like, Miles Morales out there. And, yeah, Miles Morales looks great. But it's also technically a last-gen game. So I'm not sure that it's really taking advantage of, of everything PlayStation 5 has to offer. Again, that doesn't mean the game doesn't look good. I mean, we have PlayStation 4 games that look really, really good. You know, we have Xbox, you know, One X games that look really, really good. So g current gaming already looks really, really good. But I wanted to talk about Demon's Souls here because it is the first game I have seen out of all of the games showcased, and especially the extra gameplay today, that makes me feel like we need a next-gen platform. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, do we even need next-gen? Do we need this 4K? Do we need this? And a lot of us aren't going to have the correct TVs, even if you have a 4K TV. Hardly any of you guys are going to have true HDR or good HDR. And hardly any of you guys are going to have 120 FPS sets. Now, of note, AAA games aren't really going to be running at 120 FPS. Yes, we got news today that Ori and the Blind Forest or whatever is going to be running uh, at 120 FPS 4K or 6K uh, down sample to 4K at 60 FPS on the Series X. It'll also run native 4K 60 FPS on the Series S. Which is something that, by the way, the Xbox uh, One X couldn't do. So even though some people think the Xbox One X is more powerful, there's things that the the Xbox Series S is legitimately better at. So that is why you are seeing a native 4K for that game. And don't get me wrong, it looks fantastic, but it's not something that's like a wow game. Like it doesn't make my jaw drop like Demon Souls is doing. Uh, you know, just watching them fight the enemies and exploring the world and, and fighting some of the big monsters and the fire. And it's just everything about this is beyond anything I have actually seen in gaming. Uh, beyond maybe some super ultra settings on PC over the last year with games such as Doom Eternal. And Doom Eternal, we've already seen, looks excellent on next gen platforms because it's basically PC Ultra. And PC Ultra and Doom Eternal is amazing it makes the playstation 4 pro and the xbox one x look like crap in comparison so i'm just glad that we're getting pc ultra type games now on consoles i am glad this next generation is right around the corner i've never been more excited for uh, a, a new generation of hardware that isn't nintendo than i am right now uh, I have my Xbox Game Pass Ultimate uh, all ready to go uh, for the Series X next week. Be sure to tune in for the Series X live stream I'm going to be doing. I don't have a time for it yet. There's going to be two streams happening on the 10th. Uh, the first stream is going to be just off my phone. Uh, I will be picking up a Series X in person at a local GameStop. Yes, I'll be wearing a mask and, and doing my social distancing and protecting myself and all that jazz. Uh, but I will be picking that one up uh, on launch. Uh, I will be outside the store, I think, two or three hours early. So uh, you can watch my live stream there and, and, and chit-chat with me and all that jazz. Uh, and then after that, uh, you can then... Uh, check out a stream later that day when I fully unbox the Xbox Series X. We plug it in and do our first little play test. Oh, and by the way, 
Um, beyond that, we're also going to be tearing apart the Xbox Series X uh, to show you all the insides. And then we're going to replace the thermal paste with liquid metal. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, might actually end up being the first liquid metal thermal paste cooled uh, Xbox Series X in the whole world. Uh, we'll see. Uh, and see if I don't destroy my Series X in the process. Uh, there's some precautions you need to take to use it so you don't short things out. Uh, a precaution that some people don't take because they're not thinking and the, I, I believe the way the heat sinks put on there and it being up and up and down sideways thing you know you really need to be careful uh but i know what i'm doing so whew, stay tuned for that otherwise folks i am nathaniel rubble Jance from nintendo prime demon souls demon souls demon souls man next gen's almost upon us i can't wait even if i might have to wait a little bit longer for a playstation 5 all right folks i will catch all you guys in the next video